What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Marlon. We are back at it again with another edition of the show. So if this is your first time watching, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so you never miss out on the daily updates that we have Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends. So make sure you guys tune in for that. Hit that like button for me, guys. And we do have some massive topics to go over and discuss in the line of Xbox, that is. And is SOCOM back or coming back? Yeah, we definitely got some stuff um, about SOCOM. And this is a title that I remember that I played very close and dear to my heart, especially during the PS. Uh, two generation and even on the PlayStation 3 generation. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be touching up on SOCOM as well. I know a lot of you dudes have been asking for Sony to bring back SOCOM for a very, very long time. And I think after Shadowfall, yeah, I think the, the series have taken a fall, no pun intended. And uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about SOCOM here on the show today. We're also going to be talking about Xbox new game preservation. That is something that we know Sony have been visiting in terms of things that they want to do with game preservation. And I think that, you know, if Microsoft has been really pushing it when it comes to game preservation as the start of this generation, you know, stuff like FPS boost, uh, stuff like HDR tone mapping, you know, up, uh, the res on the older games and things of that nature. I think that's very, very good there. Um, that a lot of these companies are trying to bring back a lot of these older games and nostalgia is definitely a huge part of what we do today as gamers in terms of playing games we're also going to be talking about microsoft right now is planning on bringing the hammer at this year's xbox showcase there's tons of reveals that are on the table right now some of them that we're going to be talking about during this show today also also if you're into call of duty especially with the purchase of activision blizzard well we're going to be having some conversations there about a host of Call of Duty games uh, come into Xbox as well as the new Call of Duty game that is slated uh, to be dropping this year. Also, we're going to be talking about the idea of what Microsoft and Sarah Bond was saying a couple months ago now to date uh, pertaining to their next generation Xbox. And it seems as though that they're taking this thing very, very seriously. They want to double down, right? But my whole thing is this, and I've said this a million times, it's not the hardware's fault. It's these companies and their marketing teams. They come on and they market, market, market and get us hyped for these consoles. And then we get into crap like this where we get stuck right to the point where we're expecting these consoles to perform a whole lot better than what we're actually experiencing right now considering that a lot of these games are running at 30 frames whether it's some massive triple a games or maybe sometimes even double a games that are just suffering and struggling to run on the newest hardware that we currently do have right now and it's such a shame because you want your games to be fully optimized and really squeezing out every juice out of the actual console and sony and microsoft they know this is year four considering that what we've been hearing about sony sony on the other hand have some smaller titles uh that they're planning on releasing in 2024 so 2024 in terms of releases for sony is going to be on the double a side apparently nothing too major now that does not stop sony from bringing the hammer as well when it comes to major uh reveals from their existing franchises and popular uh franchises that we come to know and love on the triple a or quad a side of things so from what we are hearing on the playstation side a may showcase is possible uh according to jeff grubb jeff grubb pointed that out that we could be getting a may ps5 showcase and that they're going to be showing off some of the bigger stuff um, at this particular showcase but in terms of 2024 the only thing that we can expect is smaller um, ips including uh, a sequel to astrobot or something like that or 
in the in that level of vein in terms of releases now obviously we have some other games like we have stellar blade that is slated for this month which is going to be huge for the playstation 5 it topped the charts on the playstation store for pre-orders and the ceo of shift up said basically his goal is to get at least 5 million shipped on that game which i think it's going to do way more than 5 million considering the hype surrounding stellar blade at this point not only that too but playstation do have some other second party games that they're going to be releasing here very very soon and one of them which i'm really really looking forward to is phantom blade zero all right now we saw phantom blade zero last year at a state of play i believe that when they were showing it off and i was pretty much excited for it uh, and so hopefully they're saying 2024 was when we're going to be getting at either q1 or q2 i think we're almost pushing pushing it on q1 at this point but it might be a q2 um release and apparently we're going to be getting a demo for that game plus we do have concord which is a triple a game from i believe that's firewalk right if i'm not mistaken um and so yeah that's still on the table there so hopefully uh we get to see a bit more um on those games and the bigger stuff uh to be revealed this year so there's that one here. Also, we're going to be talking about Helldivers 2 because Helldivers 2 is definitely pushing the envelope in terms of sales and popularity right now. It has beat out Spider-Man and it's just it's crazy right now when it comes to sales. So we're going to be digging into that as well. We're also going to be talking about Sea of Thieves and how Microsoft is using Sea of Thieves as a gauge to see, oh, what should we bring to PlayStation and Switch next? I told you guys like microsoft is not stupid they're looking at this and they're like listen um we are we, we are gonna see how things are going to shape up in terms of performance of the games that we're putting on other platform now one of those games apparently is sea of thieves now we remember that sea of thieves broke a whole bunch of records on playstation so far one of them obviously is well pre-orders right it was the number one pre-ordered game at the time when it got announced for the playstation 5 and people were able to pre-order it and so that is a very very good sign so apparently microsoft have their eyes on sea of thieves to see how the game performs and then if they see something wonderful and great in terms of sales ding 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 all right let's let's, let's bring more games let's bring more games and i told you guys like you know, Phil was like, oh, don't, if you're on the other console, don't sit there and expect, you know, games to be coming over um, to your favorite console or whatever the case may be. And then he also said, don't rule out the possibility of other games going any, any, on any other platform. So there you go. It's a, it's a very kind of blanket statement, but at the same time, yeah if sea of thieves is selling well five million copies or three million or four million hey man that's enough for them to say okay let's bring over indiana jones or okay let's bring over this game or that game or whatever else so the sky's the limit for microsoft at this point and i think while i'm not 100 percent okay with some of the things that microsoft has done and said and went back on i think all companies do that at the end of the day and it's all business at the end of the day shoot i had to get acquainted with it and i had to come to the reality but at the end of the day this is what it is where there's smoke there's fire and hey exclusivity is going to be a thing of the past it's not going to just be on one particular box anymore things are shaping up very very fast here my own thing is since microsoft is talking about this next generation hardware that we're going to be talking about during this show my biggest ordeal is push the hardware if you are saying that you are doubling down on next generation hardware we have heard this story so many times before we heard it during heavily during the xbox one generation project scorpio and it's going to be the most powerful hardware in the world and blah 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 my whole thing is start doubling down and making sure that you're utilizing this power that you're talking about otherwise it's a joke and at this point i see people making videos and article typing up articles about remember what microsoft was saying in 2020 all i could do is shake my head because on this same channel 
I come on here day in, day out, talking about the same thing. And people get mad at me. People say, oh, you this, oh, you that. You just hating on Xbox. And, but that's the reality. That's why most of the time, I don't even respond to certain comments. Most of the time, I don't even respond to certain DMs because I already know people love drama and they want to start a war for whatever the reason is. And it's like, we're way past that now. I don't have time to sit there and battle against you about which console is better. To me, that is just childish and I don't have time for it. It is what it is. If you don't look at the writing on the wall for yourself, then I don't know what else to tell you. But at the end of the day, like I said before, power means nothing if it's not fully utilized. You can come out with a 55 teraflop friggin' console and it means nothing. It means nothing because at the end of the day, if the developers are not going to fully utilize it, if Microsoft is not going to mandate and say, listen, listen to me right now, every developer must, if you're going to develop on our platform, you must utilize the hardware. If you're not going to utilize the hardware, then guess what? This is not the place for you. Simple as that. But these companies are money hungry they don't care they don't give a dog on you think they care no they don't because all they care about is money they don't care about your passion your enthusiasm they don't care about what you want is what they want and if they can't get their way then it's no way at all right because as long as it prints money it makes sense as long as that dollar bill is rolling in it makes sense for them and so took me a while to understand that because i am so always engulfed in to what I want from these companies and I'm never going to get what I want. So the reality is, yeah, I can say what I want in, in hopes that something will change or I can vote with my wallet in hopes that things will change. But that's as far as it goes, right? That's as far as you can bring it, everything. So there's that, man. I just had to clear that off of my chest because it seemed like it's the same cycle. We're in year four right now and we're expecting a lot of announcements a lot of announcements to come forth and to happen and we need to see a true showcase and i just feel like hellblade 2 while graphically that game looks amazing it's still performance it's i just feel like it's just not a overall package on why i spend 500 dollars on my series x i i'm that's just my opinion everybody has an opinion but i just feel like it's always just one side right to the coin like it's always it needs to be both sides of the coin right and so you have either heads or tails and it needs to go together and i just feel like these companies they always try to go head on with every single thing but they don't worry about the outcome right they don't worry about the outcome they don't worry about the repercussions and what people are gonna say that's why i said they don't care about your feelings right and so it's it sucks it sucks because on one hand i'm sitting here and i'm saying to myself man hellblade 2 is going to be so amazing to be able to play that game on pc and get the fullness of everything that it has to offer right you, you're getting the, the the best resolution possible the highest resolution possible and the highest amount of frames possible on that game like i that game is going to look amazing and I cannot wait to play Hellblade 2. But all I'm just saying is, is that these companies, they hype up these hardwares. Oh, we're all oh, can't wait to show off this new hardware and then put something in place. Put something in place to these developers and let them know if they're not willing to go the extra mile, if they're and these secondary publishers that y'all work with, if they're not willing to go the extra mile, they don't need to be on your platform. Because what, 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 what happens is it hurts your brand. It hurts your brand. That's what happens. And it, and, and it hurts your integrity, right? And it, and it hurts your legacy at the end of the day because it's like, okay, well, Sony is known for this. Microsoft is known for this, but yet still it's garbage. Yet still it's just stagnant bull crap every single time. And it's just like, well, why, right? Why? If the games are if the games are just going to be graphically looking amazing, but the performance has to suffer for us to get beautiful graphics, I don't want it. I need that perfect balance. I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. I don't want it. If it's just going to look pretty and performance is going to be garbage, I don't freaking want it. If it's not going to be silky smooth, I am telling you, when you toggle on 
in the, into those performance modes and you start messing around with stuff whether it's 60 fidelity or ray tracing or whatever and you really you really turn on the best balance that works for you and you're happy with the visuals you're happy with the performance and you're also happy with your purchase because make no mistake if these consoles are 500 dollars right now can you imagine what the next generation are gonna cost how much those consoles are gonna be i really wonder that, that that is still tingling in the back of my head right now because i really wonder i want to know like how are these consoles are going to be right and and so it's just i don't know for right now i'm going to reserve my my thoughts on that because I, part of me just feel like it's going to be the same thing over and over and over again nothing is going to change right because these developers and these publishers they don't care right all they care about is their deadline their bottom line their investors and that's it <laughs> and their shareholders that is it they don't care about nothing else so i don't know but i leave that with you guys all right so let's go ahead here make sure you guys hit the like button for me welcome back to the channel do me a favor like the stream hit, hit that like button for me and um we're gonna get started where's all my pens bro <laughs> where's all my pens today um oh yeah here's my pen here's my pen hopefully y'all enjoyed y'all weekend and y'all had a great time oh there's my other pen is on the floor um i hope y'all had a, a a great weekend and things of that nature uh make sure you guys like the stream for me it's very critical if you guys want to see more streams like this moving forward it's very critical that you hit that like button for me and share out the stream and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started man because things are starting to heat up we're getting closer and closer to june we do have summer game fest which i'm not i'm gonna be honest with you summer game fest seems a bit underwhelming uh every single time we get hype for summer game fest and it's it's just something it's always it's something <laughs> it's just something right it's just it's always something every time we tune into these events you know we get hype we hype up these events and then it'd be garbage you know what i mean it's just like we don't get what we want or just people are just not satisfied or whatever the case may be and well that's what we got to deal with so let's hope that summer game fest this xbox showcase that we are getting ready to talk about um you know sony event apparently in may sony have no excuses this time <laughs> i'm so serious bro this is year four 2024 the number 24 is a very 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 powerful number to me the number 24 it is and the the fact that we are in 20 24 years after the year 2000 right and we're still gaming and we're seeing lazy just one dimensional uh no uh, no originality no new ideas no no that's the same rinse and repeat garbage literal dumpster fire same old bull crap over and over and over and over and over rinse and repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat it is time it is time for a change i know i am tired sometimes i just feel like quitting gaming sometimes i just feel like giving up and walking away sell all my consoles and just say to heck with it right and maybe just game on pc and then that just will be my my ultimate uh choice that's just honestly how i feel sometimes i just feel like hey man just build you a pc build you a powerful pc that you forget about a 5090 right now or a 5080 just build you whatever you can afford right now that can run the games at whatever frames you want and resolutions at whatever you want and stop this nonsense put this crap out of its misery and just quit while you at it and just sell all these consoles and just be done with it honestly that's how i feel sometimes i really do because i am so sick and tired of the nonsense one dimensional nonsense and it's the same results every single time we sit here we put so much energy so much time and effort into these companies some of you guys worship these companies some of y'all quick to defend them to the end regardless of what the, the the outcome is or whatever they're actually doing but honestly sometimes i do want to just pack up console gaming and just say man screw it 
it was it was fun while it lasted last ride you know what i mean and just retire from it all and then another part of me is like the good is fighting with the bad it's like another part of me is like nah just hang on man just hang in there right one thing i could say for sure sony has has obviously give me a lot of faith in hanging in there for console gaming because i know when it comes to their first party games they have always given us performance mode and they have always tried to do the best that they can yeah is every single game top tier a tier no right they have dropped some buggy glitchy games sony is obviously not the same like they used to be sometimes i wonder if they're still hungry and want to fight for this and want to win win over our hearts but we just have to wait on what if and will it will it forever be better or whatever the case may be like you know it's like we just have to be thinking like hey is sony gonna bring it this year is microsoft gonna bring it this year and then microsoft obviously has given me a little bit of hope to hang in there regardless of the chaos going on they went back on their word sony even went back on their word it's just i don't know man I, it, it's tiresome and i think the older and older you get it's just like your patience is running thin and my patience is running thin guys i'm being honest i'm being 100 percent. you guys know how i get down you don't have to like me you don't have to like my opinion but respect this and when i tell you this yeah i, I i'm telling you if i don't see anything groundbreaking this generation or this start of this new generation that's getting ready to happen then we got a major problem. We got a major problem. Sony, on the other hand, I don't want to hear no excuses when it comes to the PlayStation 6. Sony need to make sure that they have full backwards compatibility, full backwards compatibility on the PlayStation 6, okay? Because they're sitting on their bag, they're sitting on their money. They have so much games that they can make money off of, so many games so many older games microsoft on the other hand is not playing around microsoft i give them a round of applause because they have been pushing the game preservation envelope with the fps boost stuff you know i just talked about um you know higher resolutions higher hdr quality higher fps full backwards compatibility i mean they have been really really dialing in the the suck part about microsoft is that they're just not as passionate like they used to be when it comes to exclusive games and utilizing the actual console they are out of that arena right now they're still passively dropping games and you we might get a couple bangers here and there or we might get a couple games that is utilizing the hardware here and there but that is it that's all you're gonna get from Microsoft. And Microsoft is just like, hey, we're Sega, but we're more powerful than Sega. We're Sega, but hey, listen, we got the money, right? To be Sega and more. And that's literally what they are. They're basically Sega right in front of our eyes, but they got the money. They got the money to do another Dreamcast. Sega themselves don't have the money to do that, right? Or they, they can't gamble like that anymore right they, they can't even afford to go in the console market again because what if they lose what if they take an l you think it's easy to do research and development on consoles it takes a lot of money because you got to hire software engineers programmers um console designers all type of people that stuff costs a lot of money thank you mark i agree playstation needs to come out swinging this time around the way some of these games have been released as of late, it makes me wonder why I bought into this generation also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Facts. Mark is always the first one. Thank you. God bless you, man. Thank you for anybody who donate to our channel. I've always said that, and I mean that when I say it. Thank you so much for sewing into our, our, our channel. It really helps out a lot. So thank you so much for the first donation, Mark. God bless you. Yes um i'm glad some people do feel the same way how i feel because i feel like this generation as a whole so far is one dimensional and almost a joke because it's like the biggest problem with this generation was launching it in a pandemic i felt like the pandemic knocked the wind out of every potential that we could have gotten but you can't just put the blame on the pandemic like a lot of these companies still make four years later after the pandemic we still making excuses 
right and we still not ha we still haven't seen anything that truly showcase both performance and graphics and resolution the whole shebang the whole package right the only thing that i could say on the microsoft side that i've seen that was just really really good was forza horizon 5. forza horizon 5 was so good and it's a shame that's a car game right what else hive busters when i'm talking about resolution performance overall quality man i know microsoft can do it it's a freaking software company microsoft is a software they are the software giant forget about apple forget about amazon forget about google they're bigger than all of them microsoft all right they they make windows they got money i don't understand you got all the programmers all no excuses you're microsoft you you can hire the world's best programmer the world's best best graphic designer the world's best developers architectures whatever the case may be you can hire all of those people top tier people to get the job done that's why i don't i don't understand how are you letting sony beat you a company that don't even have close to the resources or money that you have hmm you're your tech company first like you're a software company for your specializes in software and hardware you sell windows you sell pc what and you letting sony sony there's no way from the very start of this generation there is no way you should have let sony beat you like that right all the way up to what what was it like 2021 microsoft had some solid games right after they launched with no games in 2020 2022 they dropped the ball 2023 they dropped the ball right so it's like two years straight they dropped the ball that's just my opinion because starfield under delivered on consoles it did it was buggy it was glitchy at times it just felt like it was unplayable and i'm like where is the passion where is the passion right and at the same time it's like okay well, Marlon, look at Hellblade. Oh man, Hellblade looks amazing. That's all I can say. Hellblade looks amazing, but 30 FPS? I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. It's like, it's like this entire generation, it just feels like it's just limited. It feels like it's still in its infancy in terms of game development, in terms of hardware's being pushed. It just seemed like, bro, we're still stuck. And it just seemed like we, we're just not getting out of this rut at all. Like we, we always stepping on the gas and trying to go forward as much as we possibly can. We still spitting and skidding and all of that. It's like, are we ever gonna get up out of this? And it's like 2024 ain't looking too good. Being honest, it, it, it's looking very slim right now. And I'm really hoping that Sony can, if Sony is going first before Microsoft, listen to me, man, bring it, bring it like it's like it's game over, like it's the end game, bring it. You see what I'm saying? This is the end game. This 2024, this is the end game. We don't know what's going to happen in 2025. This is the end game. And I, I'm, I, and all I hear is excuses. All I hear is excuses on, yeah, Sony is holding back. Forget holding back. If it's ready, if it's polished, show it. Show it. You see what I'm saying? Show it. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Show it. Show us what you're capable of, right? Because at the end of the day, your stocks are going to go up, right? People are going to buy more hardware, right? People are going to invest into your freaking company, right? People are going to be buying into more digital goods and things of that nature on PlayStation Plus and also PlayStation on the PlayStation Store. Like this is a win-win situation. So I don't understand the holding back. Same thing with Microsoft. If Microsoft goes all out and push the Series X, that's more hardware. I don't understand the logic it's so stupid and it makes no sense push the hardware why you think people are not buying the console it's simple math you see what i'm saying it's it's simple simple logical thinking 
Like, if, if you don't push the hardware, console gamers are not going to buy the console. Now, considering that you are shifting the goalposts, oh, we're putting our games on other platforms. You can put your games on other platforms all you want, but that's no excuse. Still push the hardware. That's no excuse for you to give up and say, oh, yeah, you know what? We're we, we going to put our games on other platforms, but we're still not going to push the hardware why be on the console market why exist in the console market if you are not going to go full throttle and push the hardware to its limits makes zero sense to me and it's like the same cycle over and over again i'm tired you're tired we're tapped out some of you guys are frustrated i'm i'm pretty sure some of y'all probably thinking sometimes man what was I thinking buying a Series X? What was I thinking? I couldn't tell you. I'm going to be honest with you. I couldn't tell you the last time I turned my Series X on. <laughs> I've been on PC. I'm being honest. I've been, I've, I've been on PC playing PC games. I've been on my PS5, right? Playing Rise of the Ronin, right? And it's like, that's it. I haven't turned on my Series X. <laughs> and that's a darn shame. $500 just deteriorating and losing value every single day being honest now some of y'all can sit there and lie to yourselves all you want and pretend to be a fanboy all you want but the truth is the truth i don't care what anybody say about me i don't care what people think about me because regardless people are going to be people but my opinion is mine's and i'm telling you the truth is sitting there on that floor right there gathering dust because i have so many options i could be like you know what I'm just going to play on PC. I'm going to play this game on PC. Forget Xbox. And granted, that's what I'm going to start doing moving forward. I'm going to have a lot of PC content on this channel moving forward. Get ready. Get ready. Because the more and more you guys donate into the channel, I'm going to use that money that y'all donate. And I'm going to invest it into a top tier hardware for the channel. My plan is to have two different home PCs one for streaming and one for games so whenever i do get a review copy of a game and it's a pc game i can show you guys what the pc version of the game is and how it looks because this is highway robbery y'all this is not a joke this is not a game i need you guys to be aware just like how i used to do the 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 um the game showcase the blowout series where i show you the best of ps5 and series x now it's time to change that up that's why i've been putting the blowout series on hold because i want to i want to come back with it and i want to come back with it in a different way but you guys need to see what pc has to offer i don't want you guys to be reading it on websites and oh horizon forbidden west is on pc or ghost of tsushima is coming to pc listen sony ain't slowing down putting their games on pc right so i need to prepare myself i need to be ready for these games coming to pc regardless if i've already played them or not it's my job as a content creator it's my job as a gamer to show you what you what you guys are missing out on if you don't already have a pc because i know a lot of you dudes don't have a pc can't afford a pc but i hope that by the time by the time when these games drop and come out you guys are already in the mindset of okay well marlon already showed me this game running on pc and it looks incredible now i can actually start saving my money towards a pc bill and this is what i want to give you when you when you subscribe to this channel it's not just to subscribe to subscribe it's a brotherhood it's a it's a it's a family thing it's it's just like it's a covenant you see what i'm saying and each one eat each one help one and at the same time i want to be a one-stop shop for every single thing this is it man this ain't no joke pc once again is reigning supreme people are buying pc like crazy right now every time you look up at new egg walmart micro center you name it amazon sold out 4090 sold out either it's sold out or it's double the price and people are still buying it right even though we're we're on the brink of getting the new 50 C, people are still buying pcs left and right whether it's tax money credit cards wherever people get money from they are still buying pcs why because they look at these consoles as a joke and it will continue to be a joke 
Because every single time you turn around, these games are underperforming on these consoles. And it's a shame. It's no excuse for it, but it's a shame. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be sitting here feeling like I have to. No, I don't. Because I can do better. Right? I can. And that's why I'm fighting with myself. No, you know what, man? My hardware is outdated right now. I can't do 4K gaming on the on the PC build that I have currently right now. So, therefore, I got to go and rebuild a PC or I got to have a pre-built PC that is powerful enough. Ghost of Tsushima is getting ready to drop. I want to replay that game. I want to see how it looks on PC and what I've been missing out on playing it just on PlayStation 5 and PS4 Pro. <laughs> so, hey, man, there you go. I, if I have to buy these PC games or if Sony send me these PC games, I got to support that side of the business too because I'm a gamer at the end of the day. And if I'm buying these games or resupporting these games, I do expect them to continue because I understand that these companies are in business to make money. As long as these ports are great and they run good on PC and they're optimized like Horizon Forbidden West, I'm down for the count. I'm down for the because I am tired. I am so tired because it's like these consoles are really reaching their limits. They're really reaching there. There's nothing else. There's it, it, it's like it gets no better than this. <laughs> this is all you get. This is all you get. Bro, just because Microsoft bigger than Sony don't mean they have better resources. what <laughs> what we're talking about microsoft what microsoft has all the resource that is excuses i'm hearing you say microsoft has all the if sony can do it microsoft could what 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 is this the 1900s are you kidding me we're talking about Microsoft, the biggest tech company in the world that can hire anybody that can do whatever they want. Clearly, they can do whatever they want because they bought Activision. Blitz. Are you crazy? <sighs> Listen to me, man. That's poor excuse. Poor excuse. Because if, if Nintendo can do it, Microsoft can do it. If Sony can do it, Microsoft can do it. No excuses. All I'm hearing is stop making excuses for these companies. This is the reason why we're in a position that we're in because people always make excuses for these companies. Stop making excuses for them and demand better. Demand better from Sony. Demand better from, from, from Microsoft. And demand better from Nintendo. Stop making excuses for these companies. Period. End of story. You have all the resources in the world. You got all the money in the world. Utilize that money. Utilize your, your de developers and resources and push the envelope. If the technology is there, no excuse. I don't understand why are you defending a trillion dollar company that cares nothing about you? Why are you defending a corporation? or corporations that don't care about you that don't even care about your existence why why are you doing that that is silly to me they don't care about you they don't care if your bills are paid they don't care if you get kicked out of your apartment kicked out of your house kicked out of your car your car get told they don't care so you shouldn't as consumers we need to demand better period end of story we got to make a stand because year in, year out, it's the same nonsense. I know I'm getting tired, bro. Because every single time you tune into these events, oh, look at the graphics. Oh, look at the CGI. Oh, look at this. And then when the game actually, when you, when you actually do see the game, it under delivers every single time. I'm not going to sit here and waste my time and be like the rest of these other channels that's going to lie to you. I'm not money can't buy everything well hey it can in this life it, it, as long as it has a price tag on it you can buy it <laughs> it can in this life it can in this life bro 
If it has a price tag on it, that means you can buy it. Period. End of story. If you don't have money. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You're you're in slim pickings. You need money. You need money to survive. And if you want a better way of life, you need money too. Period. End of story. Whether it's an education, whether it's a job, anything at all. Better health. You need money. You don't have money. You get nothing. You have nothing. So some of y'all can say whatever you want to say. But there's no way. All I hear is excuses. Pure garbage excuses. If I was Microsoft and I had all that power and all that money. You think I would let Sony walk all over me? You must be crazy out of your brain cells. You must be crazy in your brains. If I was Microsoft, you think I would let a, another company beat me? Nah. Heck no. I'm man, I'm fighting like it's 1999. I'm fighting like I just got in the game. Still fighting like I just got in the game. Ain't letting up off the gas. Because at the end of the day, a W is better than an L. And a lot of these companies, they're okay. Now they are so lazy. Don't you understand? Every single generation, lazy. And y'all are okay with lazy. Y'all are okay with lazy. Y'all are okay with these companies being stuck in the 1998 mindset. 1999, year 2000. And even back then, we saw games and we experienced and played games that was just mind-blowing. A lot of these games that are coming out right now is garbage, trash, and you guys know it. They're garbage. A lot of these games, dumpster fire. You guys know it. So don't, don't sit there and, and beat around the bush and hide and laugh like it's funny. It is the truth. A lot of these games are depressing. They're, they underperforming. They don't live up to the hype. You guys know that. It ain't never going to be like what it used to be. It's like every year, bro, it's the same thing. Every generation, same thing. You might get one or two games that show you what the hardware can do and that's it. That's all you get. Maybe one or two games. And that, you think that's amazing? No, it's not. What's going to happen during the PlayStation 6 generation? What's going to happen... Um, the generation after that hmm? price the <laughs> it's only gonna get worse don't you get it the higher and higher technology gets the more and more complicated these games get to develop for the worse it's gonna get don't you realize that but no some of us is okay with that it's mediocre i'll take it I'm a console fanboy. It's okay. It's all right. I'll take it. It's okay. Nah, bro. You shouldn't. Because here's the problem. And here's the reality. These consoles, these newer consoles that are going to be coming out, guess what? They're going to be more expensive. And guess what? What are y'all going to say when games are going to be a hundred dollars hold on pause the music real quick can y'all think this is a joke we got to have a serious discussion man this ain't no joke this ain't no game hit that like button hit that share button and subscribe to the channel this is no game we seriously have to have a conversation right now because y'all think this is a joke and it's not i don't care who is watching or who is listening if you're listening and you're somebody higher up or if you're listening and and you you you're somebody that can make a change hear me hear me when i tell y'all this this is a joke this is literally a freaking joke because as gamers, we, we know what's great. We know what's good, but we, we've been getting so much laziness, so much laziness, nothing innovative, nothing original, the same rinse and repeat garbage, same underperforming performing garbage, right? They might as well just get out of the console space at this point and just say, you know what? No more consoles, just PC, cloud, and mobile. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> oh boy that would be so good that would be so good at least it would be good for me because at least i know on pc you get what you get right
That's not defending bro exemplary does Microsoft have a studio that's doing what Insomniac is doing. Wait, let me read that again. That's not defending bro examples. Does Microsoft have a studio that's doing what Insomniac is doing? Well, you, 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 you're saying something that is a bit controversial right now. Because he, here's why I say that. Here's why I say that. Because a lot of people have been losing faith in Insomniac games as of late. Oh boy, we, we trend in on thin ice now. A lot of people have been losing faith in Insomniac Games, regardless of what I say, regardless of what you say. Spider-Man 2, they will forever stick that to Insomniac Games as a very bad game, a game that underperformed, overhyped. This is what this is what everybody says. The sweet babe, the people tag the sweet baby ink stuff to Spider-Man 2. So we can't really, I guess we can't really publicly use Insomniac Games as an example, regardless of what I say, because people don't care about my opinion and they don't, they sure as heck don't care about Insomniac Games anymore like that because of Spider-Man 2. And I sit there and I say to them, I say, listen, um, Insomniac Games literally carried PlayStation. That was the best acquisition and best purchase for Sony ever out of all their studios, Right, because that that two hundred and thirty something million dollars paid off for them, and that was a big time investment for them because it was Insomniac Games through and through this entire generation, carried them in twenty twenty three with with Spider Man two, ha being the only first party studio to have a game. Hear how ridiculous that sound, and the fact that the game underperformed for a lot of you dudes. A lot of y'all come in here, oh, Spider-Man 2 was buggy, it was glitchy, the story was trash, Venom this, Venom that. Can't make everybody happy, man. But I hear you. I hear your point of saying, Microsoft have anything like Insomniac Games? They do. They got the coalition. I feel like the coalition is on par with Insomniac Games. Now, some people beg to differ. I think Ninja Theory is also on par with Insomniac Games. Ninja Theory and The Coalition, those are two of the playground games is on the level of Insomniac Games. Microsoft does have some studios that is on the level of Insomniac Games. The problem is, is when you have people like Matt Booty or whoever the head is over these worldwide studios or these Xbox game studios or whatever, the head of these studios, when you, when you don't have something in place to mandate things, and be like, listen, this look like trash. Do not put this out. You have a problem. Am I making sense? You have a major problem. You can't, I will say this again. You cannot put the blame on just the developers. You can't put the blame on just the publishers. It's the higher ups that are over all of this. They're the ones that to be blamed. The Bobby Kotick's of the world, they're the ones that, that are to be blamed because all they care about is greed and money. They don't care about game quality. They don't care about quality control and putting out the best that they can. All they care about is their stocks and shareholders and their investors. That is it. As long as those people are happy or those three things are in click, that is it. They don't care about anything else. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care if the game comes out buggy or glitchy or become a nightmare or a dumpster fire. They don't care. I keep telling you guys that, but you don't, y'all don't listen to me. Of course you don't listen to me, right? Because at the end of the day, you, you see it. Every generation is the same thing, right? Microsoft have the potential of putting out, don't sit there and tell me they don't. They have studios, that can rival Sony. Okay, what about Sony Santa Monica? Can money buy what they got? Just remember the top 10 games on PS5 most played were not exclusives 2023. COD and Minecraft were though. Exactly. Exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to get to your 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 um statement and then um, let me get to the first one okay 
So you you mentioned, let me go back up here. You mentioned that, okay, what about Santa Monica? Can money buy what they got? I'm going to say this again. <laughs> if, in, if, it, if Santa Monica is for sale, right, on the market, guess what? Any company can be bought. Any studio can be bought. That's the truth. That's the reality. If they're for sale, they can be bought. Whether it's Sony, whether it's Microsoft, they can buy them. Right? And then the problem is, hold on, hold on to your seats now because I'm about to really dig in right now. This is a hold. You, you guys know when you subscribe and you come to this show, you know what you're going to be getting. Hear me out. You can buy them all you want. You can buy Santa Monica if they're up for sale. Any studio you can buy. The problem, wait for it. The problem is quality control. If Microsoft would have bought Santa Monica years ago and have them under their belt and Microsoft don't push Santa Monica and send whoever the overseer is, whether it's Matt Booty or whoever else is over the, the studios, if, if he don't do his job and visit the studios or visit Santa Monica and be like, hey, let me see what y'all doing. Let me come. Let me come for a play session real quick. Oh, man, this game is too buggy and too glitchy. Oh, no, nah, uh-uh, uh-uh. We need to delay this. This ain't looking too good. We need to delay this. We can't put this out. That's the reason why I love Sony the way I love Sony when it comes to the quality of their games. Am I saying every single thing is quality? No. But what I'm saying is, at least with Sony, they at least try to put an effort in to make sure that the games look good and play good. And perform well to some extent. I'm not saying every single thing is because it's not. But at least Sony is still trying to fight and still trying to bring back their DNA of what quality is supposed to be and how these games are supposed to look and play. Because the biggest thing with Sony this entire generation is utilizing the ps5 features whether it comes to the dual sense whether it's the adaptive triggers the, the, the sense of immersion that's what sony push this entire generation and utilizing the actual console all the features of the console whether it's the audio features of the console whether it's the control features of the console whatever the case may be like they try to sell you on that Besides graphics, besides performance, they try to sell you on how does it feel to play this game, right? We, we heard Jim Ryan back in 2021 talking about um, Gran Turismo 7, right? And, and how it feels to play Gran Turismo 7 with the DualSense controller. You feel every, you feel the weight of the car when you step on the brakes and things of that nature. When you're driving really, really fast and it's raining and there's puddles and stuff, you can hydroplane and stuff like that. You can actually feel that into the controller. That for a lot of people, oh man, some people will say, oh, that's, that's a gimmick. That's a gimmick thing, Marlon. But it, it, yeah, it might be a gimmick, but th the sense of, of what you feel when you are playing a PlayStation game, it's crazy. Why do you think Microsoft is saying that they want to put that same features and capabilities into their controller? Why do you think they want to put haptics and adaptive triggers into their controller? Because they, they know that that's a part of the sale. That's a part of the sale, bro. We got to sell you on everything. We can't just sell you on graphics. We can't just sell you on frame rate. We can't sell you on story, character, sound, all of this. We got to sell you on immersion. You see what I'm saying? I, when I play a game, I want to I want to get lost into the game, and that's something that Sony have been doing for years with the characters and the worlds that they've built, is getting you lost into the experience. When I pick up Last of Us and I play Last of Us, I feel what Ellie is going through, and I feel it through the controller. I feel what Joel is going through. You look at the emotions on their faces, the voice acting, the storytelling is top notch. When you play Uncharted, it's the same thing. Top-notch storytelling and voice acting and overall production. Top-notch. 
Microsoft, on the other hand, when I played Gears of War 1, 2, and 3, I was like, holy freaking cow. When I played the original Gears, top-notch voice acting, top-notch storytelling. Love the original Gears. Love Gears 2 and Gears 3. Those are my favorite. Love Forza, right? Love the Forza series. Love, I love Horizon more than I do Forza Motorsport. Facts, right? I look at um, Halo. Halo ain't even the same. <laughs> I was playing Halo the other day on PC. Ain't the same. It just felt like a generic game. It felt like I was playing a, a, a old generic game. Like it just felt generic to me. Like I was playing a generic FPS game. It just, it's not like what it used to be. After Halo 3, eh, okay. ODST, you know what I mean? Uh, Reach, Reach was good. But after that, it just, eh, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's not the same. And I feel like Sony, they still have a little bit left in them to really show us, to bring us back to what we're used to. They can do it. Microsoft can do it too. So there's, I don't want to hear no excuses. We need to stop making excuses for these companies. Man, listen to me, man. Microsoft got more money, but Sony got better talent. That's my point. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That that is that is that there you go. There, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. But let me let me let me let me interject something real quick. Let me interject something real quick on based on what you said. Like you said, Microsoft got more money, but Sony got better talent. I do believe that Microsoft have talent. Again, the problem is with that is that Microsoft is, is not pushing their beyond. talent. That's the problem. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Benjamin B. One dollar. I'm playing Cyberpunk, and the features are insane. You can feel the car change gears on the adaptive triggers and weapons. Yeah, it's crazy. It's literally crazy. It's literally the same thing I was just talking about. Immersion. Being immersed into what you're playing and seeing. Insanity. Thank you so much for the $1. Insanity. Back to what I was saying. Sony, Sony have the better talent when it comes to their studios. Everybody knows that. Every Xbox fan knows that. Every journalist knows that. Everybody been saying that for years. Sony have the better talent. Am I saying that Sony studios are perfect? No, they're not. Same thing with Insomniac. A lot of people felt like out of all the good that Insomniac did this entire generation, that they have done this entire generation, they have dropped the ball in terms of Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 for them, it under delivers. So it just cancels everything else. It cancels all the good. And it's a shame. Because Insomniac is excellence. But hear me out now. Microsoft have talent. They do. The problem is with Microsoft, they have given up on their talents. I feel like Microsoft can do better in terms of pushing their talented studios more and showcase what the Series X can do more. For the hardcore and for, I feel like there's not a balance with Microsoft right now. I feel like they're 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 pushing a one-sided affair. It's all about the casual gamer. It's all about PC. It's all about mobile, and it's all about cloud, and it's all about Game Pass. That is it. That is it. They don't care. They don't care about anything else. The hardcore fans, sorry. You're going to get the crumbs. We care, but to some extent. And that's what I'm saying. If, man, listen to me, man. Y'all right. Money can't buy every single thing because some people are just like, you know what? Like Nintendo, right? Nintendo was approached by Microsoft years ago. I think what? Back in the early 2000s. Microsoft wanted to buy them. And Nintendo was like, what? Excuse me? Man, escort this, escort these people off our premises. 
right now. We are not for sale. We can be bought. So yeah, you're right. Money can't buy every single thing. But I will say this, it does give you a position of power. And if something is, if, if you're able to, to devour something with money, then hey, that's Microsoft. Look at the reports that we were hearing when they were trying to buy Activision Blizzard King, right? The, that leaked document that came out from 2019, they were trying to buy every single, <laughs> y'all don't even understand. My, the same Microsoft that some of y'all put on a pedestal, they were trying to buy the entire industry. Look it up if you don't think I'm lying. That list that got leaked out, they were trying to buy every single publisher known to man. That's Microsoft's end goal is to devour the entire industry. Right? It's just Microsoft and Microsoft only. Nothing else matters. Forget Sony. Forget Nintendo. We own them. Don't you guys realize that? Microsoft is trying to abuse their power with money. And that's what they're going to continue to do. Who is going to stop them? Nobody can stop Microsoft. Nobody can stop them. Yeah, they went through a rough patch with this Activision Blizzard King, but they came out on top. So who's next? Who are they going to buy next? And it's crazy. And, and people get mad at me. I don't care if you get mad. It's the truth. You can buy, 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 buy all you want. But if all the buying that you're doing, if you're not utilizing the studios to their fullest, fullest extent, if you're not overseeing these studios and making sure that they're pump, pumping out quality, it means nothing. Because here's, a, here's an example. What if Microsoft had all of Sony studios? What if, all of so what if Sony didn't even exist? And Microsoft owned all of those studios that Sony got. You think that owning all those studios will make Microsoft better? <laughs> no. Because it comes from deep from the inside. You got to want it. You got to want to win. Eye of the tiger. It seems like this entire generation, both Sony and Microsoft, at least Sony on the other hand, they came out swinging, obviously, but a lot of people feel like Sony still underperformed this entire generation. They had more games than Microsoft, but at the same time, Microsoft can buy the entire world and still underperform. Why are you saying that, Marlon? I'll tell you why. Microsoft has lost their touch. This ain't Xbox 360. If this was the Xbox 360 time frame, then I'll be like, oh boy, <laughs> get ready. Because Microsoft has lost passion. The passion is just not there anymore. I miss that Microsoft. I miss when Microsoft was hungry. Microsoft ain't hungry no more. Microsoft is rich. Rich, 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 rich. Richer than how they were back in the 360 generation. They're rich and comfortable and powerful. They're so powerful right now. You hear, do you hear what Satya be saying? I don't even know if y'all even listen to what these people be saying. If it was up to him, exclusivity won't even exist. They don't care. World domination. They want to take over the, the whole entire gaming industry. They want to dominate the entire gaming industry. They want to be the biggest, baddest publisher in the world. They want to own everything. And they want to feed their baby Game Pass. Can you imagine if they would have bought, if Sony was, was, was a company that they could have bought, if, if they could have bought Sony and Nintendo, it would have been game over. You think Last of Us would be the same? Do you think, nah, man, no. Because Microsoft don't care. They'll, they'll put the games out. They'll put them out. But it, they, they just don't. My problem with Microsoft has always been from a passionate level and a, and a management level. You got you to gotta hire the right guys for the job. I'm sorry. Because a lot of these head of worldwide studios, they're just in for a paycheck. It's just they treat, they treat these games and these studios like a nine to five. I'm so serious. You can agree with me or not agree with me. 
You guys know I'm telling the truth. And you hear Phil Spencer come out and say it. We are, I'm going to say what Phil Spencer said word for word. I'm going to quote it straight up. You can get mad all you want. Get mad at Phil Spencer. Don't get mad at me. We are not in the business to out console Sony and, and Nintendo. There is no perfect world where Starfield is 11 out of 10 game and people are going to start selling their PS5s to buy an Xbox. You know what I would say if I was the interviewer right there and then? Microsoft, Phil, no disrespect, much love to you, man. You did save Xbox after, what's his name? Don Mav, what's his name? Don Matrick. Don Matrick, Don Matrick is, was the worst. Peter Moore was great. Don Matrick was the worst. Anybody who said they love Xbox should know that. He was the worst. That man did not care. That man made his money, got his stocks, and left. That man ruined Xbox. Xbox was a sinking Titanic ship. Steve, Peter, all those guys were great. Right? Everybody. And Phil, he's not perfect, but he did some good stuff for Xbox. You know what I mean? Phil is like 50-50. But he, he at least did something good for Xbox and save Xbox. But at the same time, through all the cloud thickness, when the smoke clears, the reality is right there. We're still in the same position during the Xbox One generation. How are you telling me you're in business to compete with your rival, but you're okay with third place? You're okay with being at the bottom? I, my, 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 thing, my thing, if I was an interviewer right there, and then I'd be like, you should want to out-console Sony. Why not? Is it that you guys lack talent? Or is it that you don't want to push the talent that you have? I keep telling you guys, Sony might have the better development studios, but don't completely write off Microsoft. They do have talent. Don't fool yourselves. Don't be fooled by what you're listening to on other channels. Other channels that's going to lie to you. I'm telling, I'm giving you the truth here. They have talent. They just don't want to push the talent. Microsoft is not hungry enough in the console space to push the talent. You're going to get one and two games here and there every year that might show you what the box can do or whatever box they have, but that's going to be it. You're probably going to have a bunch of other stuff that's going to underperform. So it's going to be a mixed bag situation. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys just don't want to admit it. I'm not going to sit here and waste your time because your time is precious. But today, ladies and gentlemen, today is what? April the 8th, 2024. Remember what I tell you. Poor excuses. I'm sick and tired of these companies making excuses. Do something about it and stop making excuses. Oh, no, we're okay with being in third place. Stop settling when you can push the envelope even further. You got all these studios, what, 40-something studios at this point? 30-something studios at this point? Really? Are you telling me that every single studio suck? No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Because best believe if Matt Booty was doing his job, if Phil Spencer was doing his job and making sure that every single game was on all cylinders, we wouldn't be in this position right now. And before you comment and say something crazy, if that was the case, Phil wouldn't come out apologizing and asking for us to forgive him for 2022 not having no games. And then recently with Starfield and also with Redfall. So don't sit here and tell me otherwise because Phil was literally distraught. He was like, yeah, there's no excuses for Redfall to be released like that. You see what I'm saying? If you were doing your job, Redfall wouldn't come out like that and look like that. Starfield wouldn't come out a buggy, glitchy mess like that when it first launched. Poor excuses. Stop making excuses for these companies. 
You hear these execs come out, they talk or whatever and say whatever, right? But that's the reality. I listen to every single thing they say. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to hold you to your word. How much more times do we need to throw out the towel? Oh, yeah, Phil. All right, apology accepted. And then we move into a new year. Same bull crap. Ain't y'all tired? Ain't you tired of the same old song and dance? Ain't you tired? Because I know I am. I know I am. And you should be too. Phil was telling you Sony breaking NG records in console sales but still broke consoles don't matter how it used to that's what he meant tears of joy. <laughs> I should try and book an interview with an Xbox exec. Yes sir. Yes sir. 100%. Honey man listen I pray to God that I get in a position of power. To make a difference in this gaming industry. I pray to God. Because I have some questions for these execs. Some of these journalists are cowards. Some of these higher up. These bigger channel cowards and frauds. Not going to say no names. They're a bunch of puppets and frauds. They too scared. Why are they scared? Because oh we ain't going to get no free stuff no more. Forget free stuff. Call them out. Stand for something or fall for anything. Facts. Ain't you tired of the bull crap? These a lot of these, a lot of these websites, big websites, big subscriber channels, hundred thousand subs. Yeah, I I don't want nobody to like me, but I'm different. I don't want you to like me because I'm. I see the corruption. I see the lies and the fraudulent mess. I'm calling it out, and I'm saying I'm speaking my mind. You don't have to like what I say. You don't have to agree with me. But you see the writing on the wall, generation after generation. It's the same recycled garbage, lies, and fabrication. And a lot of these dudes, these higher up, upper echelon channels that are slave corporate, slaves corporate shields. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Microsoft. <laughs> yeah. You know, you in the position of power. You can ask the questions. Oh, I'm scared. I don't want to ask that question because I, I, that's going to stop me from getting free stuff. Are you serious, dog? Where's your pride? Where's your integrity? You're supposed to stand for something, right? You're supposed to be standing up for gamers, the less fortunate, the people who don't have a platform to speak up. Yeah, that's why I say a lot of you dudes don't like me, but that's okay. I'm me for a reason. I'm one deep for a reason. Don't need nobody to like me. I don't care. But let me get in a position of power and I'm going to show y'all how it's done. That's why I respect Hip Hop Gamer. That's why I respect him. Because he was one of those dudes that every single time he went to E3, he asked those questions. Well, why is this? Why is this that? Or why is this that? Or can you explain this? Or can you explain? Some of these journalists are frauds. Literal frauds. Puppets. Waste of time, people. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, great job. Great job. Great job. So we both agree money can't buy everything. If that was the case, Xbox would have shown us all the proof is here. But I'm glad we have that talk. Yes, sir. Most definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Poor excuse. That's all I keep hearing is poor excuse on why you can't deliver the goods. Game pass, game pass, game pass. The end goal for game pass is to have over 100 million subscribers. <laughs> over 100 million subscribers. How in the name of Jesus, Microsoft is going to get to 100 million subscribers if they don't push their studios to the max? Because right now, you have a lot of mixed bag things happening right now. Some people are leaving the console space for Microsoft right now, but they're still a part of the ecosystem. And some people are completely done with the ecosystem. They're just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm going to PC. I shouldn't have to pay for online gaming. I shouldn't have to pay for no subscription. I'll just buy my games and I'll just play on PC. Some people are done. That's the reality. That's the truth. And some people are still in there. Some people are still in between. They're dibbling and dabbling one foot in, one foot out. I'm still going to wait around and see if Microsoft is going to bring it. Same thing with Sony right now. A lot of people feel like, where's the bigger stuff? Where's the big AAA stuff at? Oh, oh, that's right. We got to wait till 2025 to see the big stuff. 
release. That's why some people were so mad during the whole Oroki Kotoki situation and what he was saying. And oh, what? The latter half of the cycle and what, what, what? PlayStation 5 sales are falling off and they're not going to meet their target. And what, what, what? They lost $10 billion in market value. What, what, what? Where are the games, Sony? Right? Like, Sony, you got to bring it. Where are the games? This ain't the same Sony. Like, what's going on? That's why people are so mad. Look it up. You see why people were so mad when the financial earnings call passed and, and went and whatever the case may be. And people find out all the numbers and all the reports. And people was distraught because they were like, oh, they thought the bigger stuff was going to come out this year. The existing franchises was going to come out this year. Where are the games? Pandemic or no pandemic. Games been in development for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years. Where are the games? Where are the new IPs that Herman Holes promised like two, three years ago? Where are the games? I'm tired of the excuses. Where are the games? Right? You know, where are the remakes that we really do want? Where are the games? Nah, we don't like hearing the truth. All we want to hear is the fluff, the fluffed up mess, the pancake. You want to hear the pancake information, the little fluffiness. You know what I mean? Nah, man. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Nah. And you know, we're going to go through this Xbox showcase. We're going to go through this PS5 showcase. And I, I promise you, bro, if these showcases under deliver, I don't know what to tell you. We are in, we're in bad shape. If these two companies under deliver this year, hear me what I tell you. Whether you're a fanboy, a PC boy, or a PlayStation boy, a Nintendo boy, People are already saying that Nintendo gave up on the generation. They gave up on the Switch. They gave up on every... I'm like, oh boy, people are already coming to the conclusion that it's over for Nintendo. They don't even know what Nintendo is doing right now. So nobody is safe. No fan base is safe. It's turmoil everywhere. Chaos everywhere you turn. I'm serious, man. Nobody is happy. You go to Nintendo, people complaining. You go to Microsoft, people complaining. You go to Sony, people complaining. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. What's going on? The big three ain't looking too good. Nobody is happy right now. And it's like these games, they come out, they underperform. They under, it's, it's always something. And these, ga- these, these game developers, all they're in, it seems like they're just in it for a quick buck. They just treat it like a Walmart job. Oh, I'm just going just to go. I ain't really happy to stock cans of vegetables on the shelf. I'm just going. I need a paycheck. I'm just going. I got bills. I'm just going. No passion, no nothing, no dedication, no nothing. I'm just going because I want to go. I hate this job. I'm just going because I want to go. That's how it feels, guys. Some of y'all don't want to hear that, but that's the reality. Y'all bet y'all didn't thought I was going to come like this today, huh? Y'all thought it was going to be a regular. You don't know what you're going to get from me. When you subscribe, you don't know what you're going to get from me. But I have to have a serious heart-to-heart discussion with you guys. I don't care who is listening. I don't care who is watching. I speak my mind and let it rip just like that. It's it's like if we go through this, if we go through this year and we don't see nothing groundbreaking, dog, I don't know what the writing, the writing will be on the wall then. I mean, it's it's gonna be nothing but darkness and chaos and sadness. Because year four and we're under delivering with another PS5 showcase. We're under delivering with another Xbox showcase. Okay. Now we're going to have to step back and reevaluate some things. This is real, guys. I like to keep it real with you guys, man. I like to, I like, I like to keep it real. I, I've, I've, I think I've, I've made up my mind that I'm going to be a certain way and stick to being a certain way. And the only thing I know how to do is be real. I can't be fake. I can't. If something ain't good, I'm going to tell you it ain't good. I can't be fake for money or fame because that's only temporary. I can't. If I had a million subscribers, if I had $10 million in my bank account, I'd be telling you the same thing. Brand ambassador or not, I'll be telling you the same exact thing because that's who I am as a person. Because I wouldn't want nobody to be lying to me and being a fraud. So I'm going to keep it 100% with y'all. 
and tell y'all the truth. They, they, are, they are slacking right now. These companies are Cadillacing right now. Too much of the Cadillac right now. Too much of the cruise control. Nah, it's time to go full throttle. Stop cruising and go. Bro, 2020. <laughs> Dog, we're in. You see how fast this year is going? We're in April and still nothing. This year seemed like a joke. Still nothing so far. We don't even know what's going to happen for the rest of the year. We're going to reserve judgment until then. But dog, by your blink, it's going to be 2025. Really? And we still getting underwhelming. <laughs> Man, yo. You know, and you, these companies get mad. I'm serious. They don't like me. They don't have to like me. But I'm serious. These companies wonder why these consoles ain't selling. I'm serious. They wonder why these games ain't selling. Oh, I wonder why. Because y'all suck. Y'all suck. CAP on Nintendo Bro. They moving on to the Switch too. And that's after six years of success with Nintendo. Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the people are saying what they're saying. Oh, it's over for Nintendo. I see people making videos. End of an era for Nintendo. It's over. And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> what? Nintendo has been reigning supreme since 2017 with the Switch. Right? And sold over 130 something million units of consoles drop games yeah am i saying every single nintendo game drop from from 2017 till now is fire no because there's some of them i didn't care for but at least nintendo is doing a way better job than microsoft and some would say sony too some would, some people would go as far as saying nintendo is doing a way better job than sony and microsoft <laughs> I'm not, I don't make the rules. I'm, I, that's what people are saying. Nintendo is doing a way better job in utilizing their console and dropping bangers than Sony and Nintendo. I mean, than, than Sony and, and Microsoft, I should say. Sorry, than, than Sony and Microsoft. I don't make the rules. <laughs> people saying what they're saying. I see it time and time again. Nintendo is still the king, Marlon. Sony and, and Microsoft playing games. They literally playing games. Hey, remember. Hey, listen. Remember at the start of this generation, it was always the cat and mouse game. Remember the cat and mouse game, guys? I don't even know. I don't even know if y'all remember the cat and mouse game. Let's play the game of cat and mouse. Sony was like, nah, nah, we ain't going first. That was so annoying. How many of you guys remember this four years ago? That was so annoying. Sony was like, nah, you go first, Microsoft. Microsoft was like, nah, you go first, Sony. And then we'll go after. And I'm like, are y'all kidding me? You see, somebody said, yeah, I remember, I do. Okay, so y'all know I'm not lying. And it's the same game of cat and mouse. Do you see Nintendo playing the game of cat and mouse? Waiting on Sony to... <laughs> Nintendo don't care. Nintendo's like, okay. Look at these idiots. <laughs> look at these fools. Look at, look at Sony and look at Microsoft. Look at these idiots. Oh, shaking my head. They over here battling over Call of Duty. Oh, freaking idiots. Look at these Looney Tunes. They're over here battling over Activision Blizzard King. We don't care. <laughs> Nintendo, Fuwakawa just sitting in his Cadillac like. <laughs> Look at those Looney Tunes. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at those acidine fools. Mm, 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 mm. Battling, trying to take over the world. They pinky in the brain. What are you trying to do today, brain? I'm trying to take over the world, baby. <laughs> Nintendo is like, yeah, okay. Okay, Brain and Pinky. Lit I mean, literally, if y'all remember that cartoon, that is Sony and Microsoft. 
The pinky and the brain, 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 brain. Dun, 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 dun. The pinky, the pinky and the brain, 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 brain. Dum, dun, 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 dun. That's literally what they are. The pinky and the brain. Yep. Somebody trying to take over the freaking gaming industry. Yeah. <laughs> You guys remember that for a lot of you older dudes from the 90s, 80s babies, you remember that cartoon literally verbatim what's happening right now between Sony and Microsoft. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> you might as well put a label on Pinky in the brain. Put a label on them. Because they're both doing the same thing. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... Uh, I, and the excuse on the Sony side is, oh, Sony holding back. Man, I don't want to hear that nonsense. Sony holding back. because Remember the big, no, no. Let's have a serious conversation because y'all think this is a joke and this is a game. This is not a joke. This is serious business. Remember at the start of this generation, right? What did we hear? Oh. Just remember Halo 2 is numero uno. Just remember to remember and remember to just remember again. Don't forget to remember and remember to just remember. Oh, sweet King Jesus. Here we kingdom come. Here we go with this. Just remember again. Lord, I'm going to pull every straw in here out of my head. If I see another donation about just remember. Thank you, my man anonymous for the five bucks. I appreciate you guys. All right, let's get back in the huddle. Remember what we heard? At the beginning of this generation, how many of you guys remember? Oh, yeah, Sony holding back because Microsoft ain't showing their hand. What? What? <laughs> and we still getting that to this day. How many of you guys remembered four years ago? How many of you guys remember that? Right? Sony give Sony give us a showcase. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't, if you say you don't know, then maybe you don't know. But don't don't tell me you don't remember that. Oh, Sony gave us a showcase and it underperformed. Oh, it's because they hold him back. What? Forget about Microsoft and go all out. I was so sick and tired of that nonsense. So sick and tired of that nonsense. It's like, really? Really? Is this what it really is? Oh, we just hold him back. We just Wait, hold him we back get to the news yet, Marlon. Yeah, yeah, we 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 have not gotten to the news yet. But hey, you guys know what I'm talking about. It, it, it makes sense of all the stuff at the beginning of this generation to where we are right now. Some of y'all can laugh and say it's foolishness all you want. But because of the beginning of this generation is the cause of the, a lot of the things that we're getting right now. Because of the start of this generation is the full outcome of what we're getting. So y'all can laugh and say, oh, everything I'm saying is foolishness and this and that. Because it's going to continue to be foolishness from these companies. So keep laughing because it's so funny. It literally is. Because it, it, it's, it's pretty obvious at this point. The, 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 the lack of effort, the lack of passion, the lack of dedication... It shows into the games. So keep laughing. It's funny. And 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 don't 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 try to demand better for your hard-earned dollar. Oh no, some oh, that's right. Some of y'all are rich. Some of y'all are well off. Some of y'all are multimillionaires. So $70 don't matter to you. You blow snap, you can blow your nose with 70 bucks. It's okay. Some of y'all crap out 70 bucks. It's okay. Oh, that's nothing. Oh, yeah. Like some of y'all always say, it's paperweight. Ain't got nothing to match it. Ain't got nothing to put up on it. Like Debo said on Friday, what you got on my 40, homie? You ain't got nothing on the 40. You just saying you got it, but you ain't got nothing on the 40, homie. Come on, man. Freaking joke, man. Freaking joke. Right in front of our eyes. Y'all don't see it. But instead, y'all saying it's foolishness. People sitting there saying what they're saying about Nintendo. Oh, no, it's foolishness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
What you got on my 40, homie? <laughs> I ain't got nothing. I'm broke as a joke. I ain't got nothing. Right? That's that's some of us, this entire generation. You know what I mean? Act like, yeah, yeah, it's all good when it's not. It's not all good. Cause we ain't got it. We ain't we ain't got it like that. We ain't got it like that. Some of us don't have it like that. I sure as heck don't have it like that. To be wasting my time. Literally. Because that's literally what it is. is. That's literally what keeps happening every single time. Sad. Sad. But I just had to get that off my chest. I'm just tired. I think that's what it is. I'm just tired of the garbage. The cesspool of nonsense. I'm tired of it. And y'all should be tired too. But that's all right. Stop crying. Mm. Stop crying, you say. Stop crying. <laughs> that's all you got out of it. That's all you got out of everything I just said is stop crying. Okay. That is definitely noted. That's all you, that's all your ears are bleeding. Wow. 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 Stop crying. Topics, question mark. Wow. Yeah, stop crying. Wow. <laughs> That's what you got out of it. What's up, Gaming and Reactions? What's going on? Stop crying. That's all we got out of it. No, I don't want to listen to the chat because the chat is the chat is toxic. The chat is very toxic most of the time. So I don't even bother even looking most of the time because it ain't nothing good most of the time. And it's the truth. It is, it is so the truth, man. It is so the truth. But you know what? Yeah, you're right. Let's get on with the topics because I just wasted an hour and a half talking about some of the issues and problems that we've been facing this entire generation. And then all we get out of it is stop crying. Oh, oh yeah, he's just crying. All the laziness, lack of passion, lack of effort that we've been seeing in these games. And all you can come up with is stop crying. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, he says, I hope you and the wifey had a blessed weekend. Gee, nothing but love. Hey, appreciate that, uh, King Mo. You always... Always coming through. Oh, it's not personal. No, I never said it was personal. I'm just saying, I said, that's, that, if that's all you get out of it, then that's fine. Everybody, everybody is everybody. I can't, I can't, I can't make everybody happy. So that's fine. Um, you say, you, he says, we get it, bro. You say it every week. Hey, I, I'm saying it until I'm blue in the face, bro. Because it's the same thing every generation. And you guys know what I'm talking about too. That's the funny part. That's the funny part is that you know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. We're seeing it happening every month, every year, every single game that comes out. It's the same thing. Same thing. But it's all love. It's all good. Nola! What's up, Nola? What's up? What's up, Brian? What's going on? Let's get to the topics. You're right. <laughs> Let's get to the topics, man. Y'all, y'all don't want to hear, y'all don't want to hear anything else but these topics. That's why y'all subscribe for these topics. So that's fine. That's fine. That's all right. Let's let's go ahead and let's move to the topics. Okay. So <sighs> seem like Microsoft is gearing up for a big Xbox showcase. Big reveals. Obviously, we heard about Gears of War 6. Apparently, we're not ready yet for Gears of War. Uh, Gears of War is going to really blow our minds when it comes to the Series X. And apparently, it's rumored to be showing off at the next Xbox showcase. Apparently, the Xbox showcase is rumored to be June 9th. Um, June 9th is when we're going to be expecting that. 
We're also going to be seeing, apparently, the next Call of Duty game, which is Call of Duty Gulf War. Um, and also, Microsoft is planning on revealing a huge back catalog of Call of Duty games, okay, uh, during, during this Xbox showcase. So a lot of the promises that they have made when they purchase Activision Blizzard King, like a lot of the older Call of Duty games that you guys have been asking about, apparently they're going to be showing that at this year's um, Xbox showcase. So a lot of Call of Duty games and the next Call of Duty game. Obviously, it's their IP. Call of Duty is their IP now. So it just makes sense for it to be at the next Xbox showcase. And apparently, um, we're going to be seeing the next Call of Duty game, uh, which is Call of Duty Gulf War. So yeah, um, yeah. So let's let's dig into the full details on this for you guys. Do me a favor, guys. If you are enjoying the show so far, hit that like button for me and hit that share button as well. We're diving into our first story here for today. This is coming from purexbox.com. We're going to go over this and discuss this. It says Xbox could be gearing up for a Call of Duty back catalog announcement. Gulf War might not be the only COD related announcement. It says right here, speaking with sources, it's been said that Xbox is gearing up for an announcement on its back catalog of games following the acquisition of Activision Blizzard 2. So Gulf War might not be the only Call of Duty related announcement that we'll be hearing in June. That we'll be hearing in June. So, hmm, that's interesting. And that's pretty much a no brainer at this point. Now, I did want to touch up on something else uh, that I think is very uh, interesting because yeah, I, we know, you know, Matt Booty said that they were going to have, what, 10 plus games at this point. That's going to be shown at this year's Xbox showcase. And obviously, I do believe that they have more stuff. I want to see updates on, you know, uh, uh, I was about to say Stellar Blade, State of the K3. You know, I want to see updates on Fable and things of that nature. Fable is obviously a game that I really, really do want to see. Uh, I want to see, you know, more on Perfect Dark, you know, Perfect Dark. What's going on with that? What's going on with Everwild? Obviously, Gears of War 6, heavily rumored. Um, also, the Marcus Phoenix collection that we've been hearing about for a while. Hopefully, we get to really see that. But like I said, June 9th um, is the report. Now, this is also coming from GameSpot.com. says Xbox Showcase coming June 9th with new Call of Duty and more. The next Xbox Showcase might be a big one. So I'll be tuning in. I'll be streaming it for you guys. So according to a new report, Microsoft will host a big summertime event this June featuring a number of game announcements and release date reveals, among other things. I, that gets me excited because that's one of the biggest reasons why we tune in for these showcases is to get release dates, right? On top of seeing gameplay, on top of seeing if there's any new IPs or remakes or whatever the case may be, or consoles for that matter. And so it says that The Verge reported that Microsoft is in the midst of planning its previously announced summer showcase, which the site uh, said take place on Sunday, June 9th. The event will reportedly include the announcement of the next Gears of War game. Additionally, it's rumored that Microsoft will use the event to announce the release dates for the next Call of Duty game, as well as avowed Indiana Jones, The Great Circle, and Microsoft Flight Simulator. The next Call of Duty game, which is said to be the Black Ops title, is reportedly going to take place at least in the part during the Gulf War. The game will feature open world missions, just like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, a report said. In other Xbox news, Windows Central reported that 26-year Xbox veteran Kareem, uh, Kareem Coldery is leaving the company amidst, hopefully I said his last name correctly, uh, amidst... Uh, a reorganization that focuses in the part of Microsoft ambitious plans for AI. Ouch. Coldery was known in recent times for spearheading Xbox cloud gaming efforts, among other things. Hmm. Xbox reported summer showcase on June 9th puts its after the summer game fest, uh, big showcase on June 7th. So obviously Microsoft is June 9th. 
Summer Game Fest is June 7th. And then Ubisoft Summer uh, Game, uh, their game event on whatever they're having, that actually takes place on June 10th. So typically, traditionally, we always um, get events, uh, bigger events in, in June and things of that nature. So let me know. Are you excited for the next Xbox Showcase? Uh, maybe I should do a poll right now. Uh, but let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Are... Are you hype for the next Xbox showcase? Okay, there we go. All right, so let's move along to something that is very exciting. Hit that like button and hit that share button. SOCOM. Wow, 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 wow. SOCOM. You know... This is a franchise that I grew up playing on PS2. And to this day, I didn't play too much of Shadowfall. I didn't like it. So I didn't dig too much deep into it. But all the other SOCOM games I played. And let me tell you, that's a franchise that a lot of people love to this day. And want Sony to either reboot the franchise or either remake the franchise at this point. And I, I understand why a lot of people feel the way how they feel when it comes to SOCOM because, you know, this is the time, man. Helldivers 2 is performing very well right now. And a lot of people are just like, you know, yeah, bring back a lot of the third person shooters, bring back a lot of the FPS stuff like Resistance. And I feel you and I hear you guys on that one because I just feel like, yeah, it, it's just Microsoft, you know, they got their games, Sony got their games. But the reason why we're bringing up SOCOM here is for a reason, okay? And, um, this is very interesting because we've been hearing for since the beginning of the generation that Sony was potentially bringing back SOCOM via remake. Uh, we heard mixed bag things like, you know, Blue Point Games was working on it or another studio working on it and obviously never saw the light of day. So we don't know what's going on there. So let's go ahead and let's dig into this. It said SOCOM PS5 rumors reemerge. Thanks to late actors resume rumors of SOCOM PS5 game has have reemerged after fans spotted the title in a late actors resume. OK, so David Veach, uh, pretty much who passed away in January 2022, age 54, apparently did motion capture work for Sony for something called SOCOM 3 or SOCOM 111. And it doesn't look like he meant 2005 ps2 game socom 3 u.s navy seals so yeah that is interesting to say the least now also guerrilla games was reportedly working on a socom ps5 game so apparently okay they're saying that uh guerrilla games was working on a so i think i remember hearing something like that so rumor of a new SOCOM game first emerged in 2019 when Insider Tidux claimed that Guerrilla Games had uh, been tapped uh, for the task. And so they previously claimed in 2017 and Sony was looking for the right developer to bring the series back since Tidux isn't necessarily reliable. The rumors were largely missed, dismissed on that one. And so, yeah, I, rem I remember... Um, just hearing a bunch of stuff about it. And then we kind of missed the whole thing on SOCOM actually coming back. And then obviously we didn't, we haven't heard anything concrete since then, since the beginning of the generation. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But fast forward into this weekend when a Redditor discovered Veach resume, which is still up on the actor's access website at the time of this write-in, Veach did motion capture work on something called SOCOM 1-1. Uh, basically three, uh, SOCOM 111, uh, which uh, some s might say another way of writing SOCOM 3 or SOCOM 3. However, Veach, nowhere to be found in the actual game's credits or none of his work was actually listed on IMDB mentioned SOCOM. So none of his works or anything like that that he has done before mentioned anything about SOCOM or anything like that. So, hmm. Don't know what's going on there in terms of SOCOM and if it is even going to make a return. The coal is getting very, very, tra uh, very, very cold for, for SOCOM right now. The trail is getting very, very cold. So we'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts in the actual comment section. All right. 
let's move on to game preservation oh boy xbox game preservation so it seems as though microsoft is really taking this very seriously i mean i think they have done uh, a very good job with game preservation in the beginning of this generation with their backwards compatibility, reworking a lot of these older games and just putting a fresh coat of paint on it, whether it's improving the HDR, improving the resolution or improving the FPS or whatever the case may be. But hey, that's just what we're dealing with right now. So let's talk about game preservations because that is something that people are, are really, really, really serious about this entire generation. And so Let's go ahead and let's dig into this article here. This is coming from Pure Xbox. Xbox establishes new team dedicated to game preservation and forward compatibility. A new exclusive reveals a big internal announcement. Ooh, so it seems as though at this year's showcase, this is why GameSpot is saying that this is going to be shaping up to a, be a big Xbox showcase because this is one of the things that they're going to be talking about or announcing is having a, a dedicated team or studio for game preservation. I'm telling you, Microsoft is not playing around. I give them their flowers because that, that's a big thing. A lot of people bought the Series X because of the backwards compatibility, because of the FPS boost capabilities and things of that nature. Sony playing around. Sony does do have game preservation teams and things of that in place and still hiring you know different developers for that vein but microsoft is really turning up the heat now with game preservation so if you are somebody that you know love game preservation and things of that nature then this is definitely a step in the right direction um i, I can see them you know incorporating this into game pass or something like that but hey it says right here that Microsoft reportedly established a new team dedicated to future proofing and preserving the Xbox game library in a new exclusive uh, quote new uh, exclusive from Windows Central. Jez Gordon, it's revealed how the recently appointed Xbox president Sarah Bond sent out emails to employees. Wow. About Microsoft setting up this new specialized team. OK, so this is a specialist team that is going to be you know, working on building a stronger uh, history of developing, you know, backwards compatibility. So this is really good news. If you care about backwards compatibility, I do know that there's a lot of games um, on the table that you guys care about when it comes to Xbox. And so they're going to, I remember Sarah Bond did touch up on this before, and they're actually sending out emails to employees about this. So it seems as though that things are setting up here. Quote, we have formed a new team dedicated to game preservation, important to all of us at Xbox and the industry itself. We are building our strong history of, develop, uh, of delivering backwards compatibility to our players, and we remain committed to bringing forward the amazing library of Xbox games for future generations of players to enjoy. End quote. So there you guys go on that one. Let me know. So it seems as though that they're going to be talking about future proofing um, you know, Xbox game library in terms of game preservation. So this is awesome to hear. Uh, a lot of people do care about older games and things of that nature. And so let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Are you excited about this? Let me know. Hit that like button for me, guys, and share the stream. Subscribe. Okay, let's talk about something that some of y'all probably are going to be like, work, work, work. Why are you talking about this? Well, it's the news, right? So let's talk about Xbox new hardware. Seems as though Microsoft is not playing around. Microsoft is not playing around. Hit that like button for me and hit that share button. Microsoft is not playing around. It seems as though when Sarah Bond was talking during that Xbox podcast, when she said, yeah, um, the next Xbox is going to be a huge technical leap uh, moving forward and things and minds are going to be blown in terms of the hardware heck our minds should have been really really blown with series x well kind of is blown especially with hellblade to being the best looking game uh ever made right now uh so that's what we're actually hearing and that's the situation so let's talk about hardware because i know some of you console dudes are excited about the next xbox hardware so Let's read it, let's go over it, and let's discuss this. This is coming from purexbox.com. Xbox doubling down on highly ambitious plans for next-gen hardware. So that simply means that what Sarah Bond said, quote, the biggest technological leap ever in a, in a generation. 
Wow. That's a bold thing to say right there, right? And that's something that I think Microsoft has been strong on um, generations after generation. Like they just want to have the powerful, the most powerful Xbox or the most powerful hardware. But I wonder what they're going to do different this time. I wonder what they're going to do different from 360, Xbox One, and series generation. I really, really wonder, guys, now that we're talking about hardware, hmm, let's see somebody chime in on that one during me talking about this. You guys know how I feel about these hardwares, but here, it says, quote, a couple, a couple of months ago, we, you may recall that Xbox Sarah Bond appeared on the Xbox official podcast and claimed that the next generation of Xbox would feature the largest technical leap you will ever seen in a hardware generation. This attract a lot of attention for obvious reasons. Although there was a bit of skept skepticism um, about whether Bond might have accidentally stated something that seems beyond the realms of possibility. It certainly wasn't a mistake though, as Bond doubled down on these plans in a message to employees just recently. So she ain't playing. Sarah Bond is not playing on, on, on basically what she said during the Xbox podcast. She's like, um, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. We're serious about this. We're serious about having the most powerful console. We're serious about having the most technological, huge leap moving forward. And I just, I, my whole thing about that statement and about what they're saying about the largest technical leap in ever in a generation is what are you guys are going to do different? That's my whole thing. What are you guys are going to do? How are you going to utilize the console? You see what I'm saying? Are, is developers are going to double down too? Because if you're doubling down on this hardware, then you need to double down on the games and really making sure that the resolution and the performance is matching this huge technical leap forward or else it's just talk, all talk at this point. But let me know your thoughts in the actual comment section. Apparently 2026 is not that far away from now. 2025 is up on us. And then before you know it, 2026, and then we have a new Xbox hardware um, I don't even know what to even ask you guys right now. Let me ask you this uh, while we're still live. If Microsoft comes out with this huge technical leap moving forward in terms of hardware that we have never seen in hardware generation over Sony and they fully utilize the box, will you have faith in Xbox again? If Xbox doubles down and fully utilize the hardware and push the boundaries that we have never seen before in terms of graphics, characters, animations, worlds, overall production, frame rate. Will you buy it, that, that next Xbox? And will you have faith in Xbox again? If they, if they learn from their mistakes with the launch of the series consoles and have a stronger footing in terms of launch games, like launch games that we can pick, choose, and refuse from, but with, being that they have all this power and all these games or whatever... How do you guys feel about that? He says, fully utilize the box. Exactly. Exactly. I know some of you guys are, are, are tapped out. I know some of you guys are saying that they're liars and you, you are tapped out. I, 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 I understand that wholeheartedly because it's just like, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back for a lot of you dudes, right? The straw that break the camel's back was the Series X, the One X. Right, the Xbox generation that's the straw that break the camel's back twice now. So, this is the third rodeo, and some of y'all are probably wondering, Oh, yeah, this is just PR talk at this point. Yeah, it, to me, it is just PR talk because I need to see the evidence. Now, granted, I'm pretty sure you heard Phil was talking about having more storefronts on the Xbox ecosystem, whether it's in the form of Steam or uh, Epic Game Store, or whatever the case may be, right? And obviously, I can kind of see Microsoft going more PC-like with their consoles, like more PC software capabilities and maybe upgradability. I can kind of see them doing that. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But all I'm saying is utilize... Somebody said Android. <laughs> Android, that's funny. 
utilize the box. He says, really afford all consoles. Utilize the box. Because here's the thing, bro. GTA 6 will be these companies' best friend. Will be these companies' money maker. You see what I'm saying? That will definitely be their money maker. And Microsoft having this huge console and it's going to be all mighty powerful and all this and that. Hmm. Let's see how GTA 6 runs on it, right? Because who knows, maybe a year and a half from now, maybe a year and a half from now, uh, I'm, I'm not a year and a half from now, but a year and a half from when GTA 6 come out or maybe a year later when it drops on PC, do you know how many people are going to go crazy? Do you know how many people are going to go crazy for GTA 6? Man, oh man, y'all are playing games right now. I'm telling you guys, y'all are playing. Do you know how many people are going to go crazy for GTA 6? So I think that it's within their best interest that they start fully utilizing the consoles, right? And 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 all this stuff about PR, this PR, that. So, But it's always going to be PR talk until proven otherwise. Somebody said, I'm done with Xbox after the HB2 shenanigans. He says, keeping my Series X to play a vast collection of older titles I accumulated going forward. It's PC and trade the PS5 for a pro. My man, sounds like a plan to me. Microsoft, you can play Android on Windows. No Microsoft been working on that. Hmm. I don't know, man. Let, let's see what they do. They got plenty of time to show us this stuff. Let's see what they do. Y'all leave y'all thoughts in the comment section. Hit that like button for me, guys. Get that like button up. Please hit that like button and help us out. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Let's talk about Sea of Thieves. Let's talk about Sea of Thieves and how Microsoft keeping a close eye on this game. Microsoft apparently is keeping a close eye on, on Sea of Thieves for a reason, apparently, okay? And so let's talk about this because this old Sea of Thieves performing and selling well is ultimately going to be the outcome for more Xbox games going to PlayStation and Switch. So let's dig into this. Now, where is this coming from? PlayStationLifestyle.net. Make sure you go over there and give them a follow and, and go to their site. So Sea of Thieves, PS5 sales may, des may decide future of Xbox exclusives on PlayStation. Now, I don't know if you guys remember when the pre-orders were live, it was the number one most pre-ordered game on the PlayStation store. So that's very good sign right there. So apparently Microsoft got their eye on Sea of Thieves. And yeah, if Sea of Thieves even do two or three or four or five million copies on PS5, yeah, they're going to keep, I told you guys, that's what they're doing. They're going to be looking at these games that they put on PlayStation 5 or Switch, whichever one. And if they're selling crazy, it's business, it's money. If it's making money, it makes sense, right? They're going to keep on putting more games and 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 more games. So, According to a new report, Sea of Thieves sales on the PS5 may be a test for other Xbox exclusives to release on PlayStation. This report comes amid uh, another exec level shuffle at Xbox with the 26-year veteran Kareem Coldry, if I'm saying his last name correctly, departed last week. Coldry spearheaded xCloud among other key developments at Xbox. It says Microsoft is keeping an eye on Sea of Thieves PS5 performance. Microsoft announced four first party games for PS5 this year. Sea of Thieves, Hi-Fi Rush, Grounded, and Pentiment, according to Verge's Tom Warren. It's rare's uh, Sea of Thieves that the company particularly has its eye on. Website sources claim that Sea of Thieves will be a key test for whether other games might make their way to the PlayStation 5 or Nintendo Switch. Hmm. Let me ask y'all this. Do y'all think Sea of Thieves is going to sell incredibly well on PS5 or even sell good enough for them to put more games on PS5? Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section. Now, listen to this. We continue to hear reports that Microsoft is already considering bringing more of its exclusives to other platforms, including rival PlayStation, Bethesda, Starfield, and Indiana Jones are two of the titles that insiders were repeatedly claimed 
and obviously said that it's going to be coming to PS5. So we'll see on that one. How many of you dudes up in here think Sea of Thieves is going to be a baller on PS5? Like it's going to at least do it 5 million, 2 to 5 million copies. Man, if that game sell at least 2 to 5 million copies, that is enough for Microsoft to be like, okay, yeah, we need to keep doing that. We need to keep doing that. So let me know your thoughts in the actual comment section. Hit that like button for me, guys. Share the stream out. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the support. And let's get into the news, man. We ain't done yet. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Thank y'all for the support. Hit that like button. Hit that share button for me. And let's get right into it, man. So here we go. All right. Let's talk about this because this right here, crazy, crazy. And congratulations to uh, what's Arrowhead. Congratulations to Arrowhead and congratulations to PlayStation. It says, right, this is coming from Video Game Chronicles. Make sure you guys go over there and give them a follow. Helldivers 2 sales outpacing Spider-Man 2 in the UK. Are you surprised? I'm not. The online co-op shooter was the best-selling game in March for the second month. Helldivers 2 was UK's best-selling game for the second consecutive month in March, according to GSD Data, published by GI.biz, with tracks all physical sales and digital sales from most major publishers. According to GSD, after eight weeks, Helldivers 2 sales are now trending ahead where Spider-Man 2 was after the same length of time. Insane. <laughs> so it's thought it should be noted that the latter retails for 70 euros and isn't on PC. So there you guys go on that one. I'm not surprised. I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. In total, 3.6 million PC and console, uh, console games were sold across the UK during March, which is significant rise 26% over the same period in 2023. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth released in February, but obviously part of March data and narrowly outsold by Dragon's Dogma 2, though it was worth noting that Capcom title was only on the market for half of March. A surprise entry in the charts, uh, yeah, Command and Conquer and some other games there. So there's that one. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Helldivers 2 is shaping up real good, man. Congratulations. All right. So, with that being said, that concludes that concludes the main part of the show. If you enjoyed the show, let me know in the comment section. If you did not enjoy the show, please let me know in the comment section as well. Hit that like button for me if you did enjoy the show. Support the show. I appreciate you guys. And um, yeah, let's let's do this thing. Uh, come in with your questions, super chats, any questions or concerns that you may have. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you all for the love. Thank you all for the support today. Thank you for giving me your time because I know time is, is precious. Uh, and also, yeah, make sure you guys hit the like button if you did get any value out of today. Okay, so Q&A time. Let's get it in real quickly. All right. Hey, Zeno, what's up, man? How you doing? Cam says love the show marlin hate the the uh hate the rants when it goes on for a long period of time definitely noted thank you so much sir says are you talking about that yeah 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 i'm talking about those 10 games you talking about what matt booty was saying or are you talking about something else talking about something else make sure you guys hit the like button for me hit the like button guys any more questions any more concerns let me know let me know we're on the tail end now Uh, 
Um, I says I can type eggs on social media. I said I said thank you for speaking the truth, Ethan. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, man. I'm happy you got some value out of the show. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Darcy says, um, I said this show is boring. Please do better. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He said, do you think at the showcase we'll see any Blade contraband, Arc 2 or City of Decay? I, I, don't, I don't think we're going to see anything on Blade. We might. I'm 50-50 on Blade. Uh, contraband, Arc 2, and 50-50 on State of Decay. 50-50 on State of Decay. Thank you so much, um, Lou. Louise, appreciate you, man. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Say you buying the DLC for Elden Ring? Man, I got to replay Elden Ring, bro. I haven't touched Elden Ring in a long time. Uh, I said, bro, since my Xbox Series X messed up on me, I hadn't bought me another yet because I'm waiting to see what the next Xbox is and how much it will cost too, bro. Okay. Okay, cool. That's a good idea to have. It says, what is the specs um, you're going to for your next PC build? Honestly, man. I want the best of the best, right? Part of me is like, yeah, Marlon, you should wait. You should wait on um you should wait on the 50 series. I should. But I that still won't stop me from building a a, a PC right now and then all I got to do is just swap out the graphics card. So I can still build a strong PC right now and then you know when the, when the 50 series drop, then just swap out. That's the beautiful thing about PC. You can always swap out the parts. Or even if I even if I do a pre-build, I can still swap out the parts and go from there. So, you know, there's that. But I'm, I'm planning on doing like a i9-14, 1400K or something like that. Um, and, you know, maybe going with like 32 gigs of RAM or something like that. DDR5, 600 megahertz um you know maybe four terabyte of storage something like that uh yeah really want to go with a 4090 but 4090s are ridiculous in price right now so i might just go with a 40 super 4080 super or something like that said make the streams more angry in my suggestion make the streams more angry oh lord that a lot of people don't like that a lot of people don't like that he says, he says, ball out, King, get that 5090. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish I got 5090 money. Captain, you funny, bro. You funny. Yeah, that's that. People, people don't understand. Like, you know, the show is not perfect, right? It's not. It's not perfect. It will never be perfect. Um, but people always criticize me for um various different reasons, right? You know, oh, you're ranting too much, and oh, you get mad too much, and oh, it's just like a never-ending cycle, right? But hey, I take constructive criticism. If people are saying, "Hey, I'm ranting too much," or they call it a rant, even though I'm just trying to speak my mind on certain things. Some some things are long-winded than some, but yeah, in the past when I used to get mad and stuff like that, like people would get mad at me for getting mad. So it's just I don't know, man. I don't want to doing i don't want to keep doing things that people don't want me to do you know so there's that hopefully that answers everything um Um, he said it's stupid to come out with a new Xbox when Xbox putting their games on PS5. Well, apparently, according to Phil, not all their games, right? Not all their games. Not all. Not all their games, right? So, you know, there you go, man. He said, "Okay, the rant. Um, not let it go on for an hour. Feel like I'm in church." <laughs> 
But hey, Cam, Cam, let me ask you this: What's wrong with that, man? What's wrong with feeling feeling like you're in church? What's wrong with that? You know, I, I mean, you know, you're being honest, so I guess I need to stop doing that. I guess I need to keep my rants, like you say, rants. I guess I need to keep my rants short, or I guess I guess I need to. I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> but I, I guess I, that's how I guess I. I feel like I want it to feel like we're we're in a church setting, right? Because I, I don't know, maybe I because I'm preaching or something. I don't know. Or I like to preach. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so Marlon, how uh, can I type on social media name? It says we want Marlon to check Twitter. He said, no, keep ranting. He said they need games for the next Xbox. The launch needs to be great. Most definitely. Most definitely. That's why PS5 uh, excel even more than Series X. So you got these people thinking everything coming. He said, uh, speak your mind. This is your channel. They come every day. Anyway, that is true. That is... <laughs> That is true, though. That is true. Yeah, I mean, you're right about that. Speak your mind. You're right. You are. You are so right about that, my man. You are. You are so right about that. You're so right. You're so right about that. And um, you know, it's 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 crazy. Like, I mean, it's it's literally crazy right now. So you're so right about that. You're right. He says, we talk about, yeah, yeah, we talked about SOCOM. I have timestamps. Says Xbox show. But you know, that's the thing, man. I don't, I, I love constructive criticism because that's how you get better as a person. Um, and, you know, if people, people don't like something, if a bunch of people complain and say, hey, bro, I don't like this. I don't like that. I think you should change this or whatever. Then, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the L if, if, you know what I mean? If it's an L, I'll take it. Um, I'll take it. So, you know, yeah. Um No sugarcoat. Oh, definitely not. I'll never definitely not going to sugarcoat anything. Like, yeah, I might I'll 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 do the rants like y'all say rants. I'll do them a little bit shorter and a little bit more sweet. But I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm just going to be raw like I've always been. I'm always going to be raw. Like I'm not going to sugarcoat anything or lie about anything or anything like that for for anybody. I'm just going to keep it shorter. If, if, if it's the length that you guys are complaining about, then that's fine. I'll take the L on that and, and do better. That's fine. That's how you get better. He speaks, but he have to accept what comes with it. Hey, Dragon King says, bro, I think you're doing a great job, bro. He says, keep doing what you're doing and keep preaching, bro. Hey, thank you so much, Dragon King. God bless, bro. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. He said, you guys, only two people crying. He says, it's just the length, bro. He says, I know you be getting up. <laughs> Cam, you something else, man. You are something else, Cam. Cam, we got to chop it up sometime on the Discord, man. Okay, get in a Discord call and, and talk and stuff. I'm pretty sure you got a lot of stuff to say, huh? I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you do, Mr. Cam. Great stream today, Kendrick. I'm happy. I'm happy you enjoyed the stream, man. I'm happy you enjoyed the stream. God bless, man. I I I definitely do appreciate it, man. I definitely do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support and everything. God bless. Uh, it says uh, I'm with it. It says I don't come from no. It says I'll place one. You want to see you succeed? Hey, Cam. I appreciate that, bro. Most definitely, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I says rip 3DS and Wii U. Oh, yeah. Been rip on that one. <laughs> Been rip on that one. I still got my Wii U and everything. And my 3DS. Uh, 
um he says people too sensitive man the truth hurt but it's just games bro hey man he said just remember halo 2 is number one marlin he said gaming is so much fun he says i know microsoft will want to put games on ps5 he says uh in all but uh if the new xbox comes out mm, wouldn't that turn people off because i'm sure they are making new uh exclusive for xbox yeah that's what i'm saying if they don't utilize that box hmm yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be something else for them you know what i mean because that's the issue that people are having right now is like yo like what's going on are y'all gonna utilize the box or not you know like some people are just like man i'm tired of this i'm tired of that like i want microsoft to do this i want microsoft to do that so it's just yeah I, I really hope they utilize the box that's all that's all i want you know what i mean i don't have a problem buying their hardware just utilize the box that's it you know what i mean push the box if sony can do it you can do it that's just where i'm sitting at at this point if sony first party games can deliver in terms of for, you know in terms of the, um utilizing the hardware microsoft can do the same thing too no excuses we can't make excuses when we can do better <laughs> that's it when we can do better right am i right or am i wrong even phil spencer talk about he he look at certain things on how xbox can do better it's always room for improvement right yep for sure appreciate you guys man appreciate y'all thank y'all so much and 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 all in all thank you guys so much for coming here you know each and every day listen listening to me rant listening to me talking about these topics it's a blessing man and god bless you guys for for giving your time because time is something you can't get back and you guys come here you know monday through friday and give your two hours and i appreciate that you know what i mean i mean your guys debt at this point so i appreciate that thank you guys for the blessing you guys know i know it might sound cliche but i'm always thankful for every single thing you guys do for me just by you being here your presence means everything to me so thank you guys for that um so unreal engine 5 isn't built for this generation it, man that's a shame because it that shouldn't be the case uh it says blade coming to ps5 after xbox release oh man i i can see that happening i mean with the way how things are right now i can see i can see that happen it says i'm just saying you can do better it says tell me he said tell me have you heard that lately Hmm. 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 Said Marlon ain't down with that uh flip book gaming. <laughs> gaming and reactions says, remember, I am number one. All right, my G. Yeah, you're right. You're number one. <laughs> yeah, you're number one, all right. You're the richest one in here bro singing like <laughs> you number you number one you number one you're right you're the richest man up in here bro yeah yeah you're the richest man up in here man i wish i had the paper that you got you know what i'm saying i wish i wish i got the paper that you got man you know you're the man i can't be the man if you're the man you know you're the man with the bag you're right you're number one you're right i'm so happy you actually came out and say say how you really feel and what you really are you know what i mean yeah you are the man man i'm trying to be like you trying to get like you you know i wish i was in your position you know what i'm saying yeah man you're the man bro i can't be the man if you're the man big money gaming and reactions top dog dogs of all dogs Oh man. Hey, hey. Um Michael with the two dollars says, love it here, bro. Good stream. Thank you so much, Michael. I I appreciate you, man. Hey, you know, we all striving to be like gaming and reactions, man. Big top dog, you know what I'm saying? Big heavy weight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That man would knock down Mike Tyson in his prime. Heavyweights of all weights, you know what I mean? man can out out punch any weight class 
You know what I'm saying? Man got crazy money, man. Man got money from here to the world end. You know what I mean? From to infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear. Crazy money, crazy paper. If he's number one, then I'm number three. <laughs> yeah, man. You, you, if you, you know, hear what Biggie, Rip Biggie. Remember what Biggie used to say? If you don't know, now you know. Okay. If you don't know, now you know. Well, I hope y'all know that Game of the Reactions is top dog. You know, he's one of the only ones up in here that can say he got money and put his mouth behind it. Yeah. Trust and believe that. He's the only one up in here right now that got it like that and be like, listen, bro, I can drop I can drop a rack right now. I could drop a thousand dollars and walk away like it ain't nothing. I can drop a hundred bucks and I can walk away like it ain't. He can do that. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Top dog. Yes, sir. Love uh, it here, bro. Good stream. <laughs> if he's number one, then I'm number three. I'm law. Hey, man. That man got more money than leaves on tree. This man got more money than, like leaves on tree, bro. Man, I wish I had. I wish I had it like that, bro. I wish I had it like that. You know what I mean? I wish I was in the position. I'm still trying to get there, man. I'm still grinding every day. Still trying to. He said. He said a thousand pickles. I'm done. I'm so done with you boys, man. I can't. Says I'm broke. Nah. Remember, rich people always say they broke. You never, you never gonna know when they got bread. You never gonna know when they got bread. Rich people always gonna tell you they broke. You know, you never gonna know when they have money. You know what I mean? But yeah, blessings on that man, bro. Every time this man walk, every time this man talk, you see money. Facts. This man don't wear no cheap clothes. This man wear expensive Louis Vuitton. Do you? Uh, wait, what do you call it? Do you? Uh, do your? Yeah, this man wear Louis Vuitton and Dior. You know what I'm saying? This man don't wear no cheap, cheap dollar store clothes. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. This man Levi's and Wrangler jeans. You know what I mean? Top dog, big Rolex watches and you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man don't drink no cheap liquor, expensive liquor. You know what I mean? Real talk, man. Top dog. Man. My, my man got so much ice. He shines so bright. Like a star up in the night. Yeah. That's Game of the Reactions, baby. Big dog. Top dog. Dogs of all dogs. Yes, sir. Get that man. Get that man his, 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 his flowers. You know what I mean? Get that man his flowers, man. Ugh. boy i tell you boy ah oh, god help me <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh man i tell you he said he said that man got money from i can't with you boys man <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> man, I literally just man, just topped off my day right there, boy. Y'all make me laugh, man. I I need that laugh. Oh boy, I need that laugh, boy. <laughs> oh man. I can't, man. Oh, for sure. For sure. Man got a mountain dew of money. <laughs> Says, are you gonna watch the solar eclipse? Yeah, when what time is that gonna be? What time I hear everybody talking about it? It says I bought the planet. Oh, yeah, he can buy the planet and more. He got more money than Microsoft. Said Marlon, stop the cap. You have the Rolls Royce in the driveway. Nope, that's gaming and reactions. He got the Rolls Royce, the Phantom, the Lamborghini, you know, um, 
what else he got in the garage there oh i saw that uh twin turbo uh m3 bmw this man got a 2025 twin turbo bmw in the garage this man got a five garage house or no sorry six garage house man living large bro man got a h2 hum on some 33s bro real talk tell you that real talk man got an h2 hum on some 33s says i got my money on nintendo it says i'm positive the company won't disappoint me hey i feel you i feel you man oh oh i'm sorry i'm sorry not six eight i'm sorry yes i'm so sorry man eight crazy money man big money big dog got crazy paper yeah h2 hummer man yeah he said <laughs> oh man he said do you still play nintendo games man it's been a minute last game i played was uh breath of the wild last game i was uh breath of the wild 2 and i didn't get to finish it because the performance was just not i couldn't do it it was dropping below the 30 whenever you do the use the master hand technique yeah so i kind of stopped playing it but hey if the switch 2 is going to improve a lot of these um switch games then i'll replay it and finish it he said nintendo who he says uh put your bank account up oh here we go here we don't start don't, don't start no hype train <laughs> don't start no hype train baby uh we know we know you can outdo anybody up in here with that bread you can outbid anybody in here with that with the amount of money you got you know what i'm saying um he said marlon are you going to be playing final fantasy 16 dlc next whoa it, it drops next friday really it drops next friday oh wow i wasn't even paying attention i gotta i'm towards the end of the game now i gotta hurry up and finish that I see I'm still in the middle of Rise of the Roan. Still trying to... Well, I am trying to finish up Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm done with Rise of the Roan. And now, um, since my review, I played a little bit more of it, but I was already done. It was just like a bunch of side missions and stuff like that. But yeah, I got I to gotta ultimately just play a little bit more of 16 and be done with it. He says, swimming in cash right now. Oh, man, I know. I know you are thanks for confirming that for us we know you swimming in cash we know you got crazy bread crazy paper you know what i'm saying yeah 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 all that and more yeah 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 but i love y'all thank y'all so much for the support today make sure y'all hit that like button hit that share button subscribe to the channel if you're brand new hit that like button for me guys and share out the stream and let's strive to be more like gaming and reactions big money big paper you know what i mean yeah 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 love you guys man um hug somebody tell them you love them godspeed one love and god bless be safe out there in this world if you're driving be safe and um i'll see you guys in the next one i hope y'all got some real good value out of the show today and just know that gaming and reactions is number one he has crazy paper and put bill gates to shame with the amount of money he has peace holla at your boy holla at your boy